When you work in the Access office, there are a number of things you must never, ever say in case they offend Rob. He is such a pontificating pain in the backside, honestly, getting offended by everything and sitting at his desk being miserable and banning people in the comments for saying he's bad at games. Which he is. It's so frustrating, all this linguistic tiptoeing about just to placate one person. I'm so sick and tired of it, day in, day out. Dave, man, take a chill pill. Oh my God, Ash, please, never, never say the chill pill line. I just can't take it. That is one thing you must never say to me. And here are seven things you must never say to a gamer. Let us know in the comments if we miss any. Hi everyone, good morning. Sorry I'm late. Ash, this is the third time this week. You know I cannot let this slide. It's time to take this to the next stage of disciplinary action. Wait, hang on a second. Isn't this a skit about shrugging things off? Fine, have it your way. It's time to initiate the formal process. Oh, please, Rob, no, no. What's the matter? It's just ahead. No. Ah, I see where we're going with this now. It is just a head. A head where, just like in video games, I do all my thinking and feeling and, you know, general living. Disparaging either of those things feels like a drastic understatement to how important they are to a gamer's existence. Video games are emotional roller coasters, places to bond with friends, universes you can actually think and feel and live inside when you want to hop out of the real world for a while. It's only natural we react accordingly. Fist pumping for our outrageous goals or screaming in terror as a deranged lunatic lumbers after you is part and parcel of the experience, which is why it hurts so much when someone diminishes all that emotional energy with four sour little words. It's, it's just, just a, a game. game. It's just a game. <laughs> is cool and shaming people for that is just not cricket my guys which isn't just a game either okay you all know this phrase and have either been burned by its keen sting or delivered it yourself as some kind of crushing own on some loser noobs i don't even want to say it really for fear i'll turn into one of them so i will just refer to this one as gg wait what are you talking about? Good game? No, I'm not talking about good game, Rosie. I'm talking about... The domain name for Guernsey. Oh god, he's on about gossip. No, I am talking about... Oh, get, 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 get good! I'm talking about get good. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words like these will also hurt you. This mocking double dose of the G's helps no one. You might as well be pointing and laughing, shouting, you died, ha <laughs> lol, over and over again. Why, get gooders, why do this? What compels you to hurt each other so? You're spewing out poison that just marks you out as a little gaming troll. Instead, why don't we all offer positive reinforcement and support in trying times? How about, instead of get good, we all say, well done for trying, or you'd improve with some patience and practice, dear friend. Now, on second thought, how about everyone just says nothing at all? <laughs> Rosie, take a look at this. Look, I'm in the middle of a boss at the moment. Can I wait a minute, please? Rosie, it's literally right here. Just take a look. Now. Look, I'm so close to defeating this boss. Please, just give me a moment. Oh my God, can you not just pause it? Look. Oh, you died. Oh, I guess you can take a look at this now. <laughs> you know the phrase. The phrase, can't you just pause the game? I've heard it from my mum when dinner was ready. I've heard it when people are asking for my attention when I'm clearly busy. I've heard it from my friends who know full well that I can't pause the game, yet they ask just to infuriate me. I've heard it my entire blooming life. 
To anyone who wonders if someone can simply pause a video game, the fact that you need to ask probably means no. They can't. I'm sure that if they could have, they would have paused it so they could speak to you. We're not horrible, you know. We're sorry we can't pause an online game. We're sorry we can't pause a From Software game. We're sorry we can't pause Parappa the Rapper without having to start the whole rap all over again. But please just be a little bit more patient with us and I promise you, you will have all of our attention soon. Yes! <sighs> now let's look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Okay, everyone, now join me as we take a trip to the world of imagination. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, now picture this. You're a surgeon on the brink of doing the most intensive, fiddly transplant in known history. Sweat beads on your forehead as you look down on your anaesthetized patient. You're a few careful incisions away from completing your life's work. Stakes are high. Your training flashes through your head. Five years of undergraduate study. Four years of hospital placements. 10 years honing your skills to be as sharp as the scalpel you're wielding. It's all come to this moment. Deep breath. And then. Ooh, that looks fun. Can I have a go? No, of course you can't have a go. I'm in the middle of a really important bit. Oh, I'm sorry, but the head doctor said it's my turn. So no, I'm just there, gonna, there is I'm no just head gonna, doctor at this I'm hospital. Gonna, Thank you very much. This is precisely what it feels like when someone asks to play your game. It's one thing to borrow it or start on their own account or simply watch whilst you carefully and safely showcase your hard earned build. It is entirely another to think that they can just dive into your save file and start wandering around touching things willy nilly. People's lives are on the line here. There are scores of villagers and intergalactic citizens relying on my hard work to keep them safe. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> you can have that back now. There's always that person who has to one-up you in everything. Wow, what a boff. I'm gonna share this finally made it song with my friends. Oh, this? <laughs> yeah, I heard that years ago. And I actually know the guy who made it. Catch up, lol. It doesn't matter how hard you've worked or how proud you are of your achievement, there's always some boastful Billy waiting on the sidelines with a terrible case of the one-up disease ready to belittle your feet. Worst of the lot, the needless brag of I did that bit first time. First of all, no you didn't. And second of all, shut up. Why are you telling me this as I detail my perilous battles fraught with death against the chalice amygdala? Why are you rubbing this into my tired, worn face as I tell of my trials against Sigrun the Valkyrie Queen? Why, oh cursed wretch, oh terrible fiend, are you lashing me with this verbal whip as I try to bond with you through the medium of video game difficulty? I'm not impressed with your returnal run. I'm simply annoyed that you cannot show me the same vulnerability as I lay my defeated corpse down at the feet of the first sentient in the Crimson Wastes. Oh, did you say Crimson Waste? I did that first time, you know. Look, right, the gloating is annoying for this one, but what's even more frustrating is that I'm being reminded I did not do it first time. Just take your success elsewhere. No one likes a show off. Hello? Yes, is this thing on? Oh, you have to forgive old Robbie here. Eh? I am very old. Old and aged. An ancient being from the days before PlayStations, before Final Fantasy, before even the Lord of the Rings came to... What are they called now? Cinemas? A raisin of a man, a husk, too old to even think about gaming. Are you doing impressions of me again? No! Okay, right, first things first, the bald cap is insulting, and secondly, there is this massive misconception that gaming has an age limit attached. That you can be too old for gaming is just categorically untrue. I mean, take a look at the joy Skyrim Grandma brings. I was playing games when I was nine, and I don't plan on stopping until I'm 90. Or 900, should technology have unlocked the power of immortality by then. 
And let's be honest, I still probably wouldn't finish all the side quests in Skyrim. And I wouldn't want to, as I love coming back to that world time and time again. There's never going to be an age barrier that stops me, and there shouldn't be for anyone else either. I mean, what's the cutoff here? You hit 30 and you're supposed to only be enthused by a freshly mown lawn, or neatly filed mortgage papers, or well-designed rail infrastructure. I mean, all those things are really nice. Or sensible walking shoes with arch support. A new vacuum cleaner that you don't have to plug in at the wall. <gasps> Perusing the stationary section for a nice inky fountain pen. Rob, snap out of it! Right, sorry, yes. Getting older doesn't mean you give up fun. It might mean you have less time for it than you'd like, but there's not a single ounce of shame in being a gamer no matter how old you are, look or feel. The only people who think differently are the ones cutting themselves off from worlds of adventure. It's their loss. Guys, no. Right. Hello shop owner, I would like to sell you my most precious items for some cold hard cash. I need me a new Parappa cat. So here's my PlayStation 2, here's Delsin, here's my medieval coaster, and most importantly, all my platinum trophies. They're so pretty, so shiny. Right, thank you, great. Except, I can't do anything with this. What? There's like 50 platinums here! Yes, but they don't exist. They're completely worthless. 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 The trophy hunters of the world will feel my pain here. Trophies are not worthless. They're simply intangible. But so are polar bears. Have you ever seen one? Would you say they have no worth? No because they're lovely soft bears that live in the snow and sell delicious mints. Money is intangible when it's in your bank account, and that's the most worthful thing there is. Yes, you might not be able to trade a plat for a hat, a cat, or a mat, but the time, experience, and satisfaction that comes with earning them is more than worthwhile. Fine, I'll take my trophies and I'll share them with people who appreciate them instead. And there's our list of things you should never say to those who wield controllers. What phrases most annoy you as a gamer? Are there any we've missed from this list? Let us know in the comments below. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, and hit that notification bell so you're always up to date with everything from the world of PlayStation. Thanks for watching. PlayStation.